All right, y'all, to really get the job done, all you need is just night crawlers. You need the mighty worms. That's it. It ain't nothing rocket science behind this. You just need the mighty worms. That's it. You can see it there clearly. That's it. Oh, we got one on right now as we speak. We got one on now. He's like my lineup. Let's see if he'll take that line and pull it. There's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Oh, oh, he was there and let it go. He was there and let it go. Oh my goodness. That's how they been lately, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Hopefully we can get, get them on. Fish on little bitty hook. I told you. Ah, that's the problem. Little bitty white perch is biting. That's what it is. Got <laughs> a white perch. That's what it is. They. Demaya, listen. <laughs> you try... No, I'm just saying you got like four. The the buyer like if he still get the buyer water boot. <laughs> there, there you go. We got one. Yeah, uh, I was getting all these. I think they. I think they just real small right now. Yeah. I'm so used to the ones that be like 13 inches, but we still like they not they not in here that thick yet. But they are being here thick. And the reason why I could tell that is because I kept trying to use size one uh, Aberdeen hooks and um, I'm not catching nothing. So I went down to the smallest size I got, which may be an eight. I think it's a, a size six, I mean. Yes, I think it's size six. I think it's, yeah, yeah size six. I went down to a size six, which is the smallest size talking? I got. So. We're going we gonna to actually see, because I, like I said, once I changed to that smaller hook, I caught him. I kept getting bite after bite after bite and no fish. I mean, we do have some, believe it or not. I'm going to show you. We have three white perch and we have a uh, yellow perch right there, as you can see. So we, I mean, we, we start, it's starting off okay, but um, I've been missing a lot of fish, and it's got something to do with that hook size. That size one is a bit too big for the size fish that's out here actually biting, so... What I'm going to do is just test this theory out again. If I catch another one uh, with that small hook, then we have to do the same thing with the hook on the right so that we can get these fish um, like we want to. But y'all already know what it is. We got one on, but it's not a, it's, it's a, definitely a catfish. I can tell because that bite is just a little too hard. And a lot of times that's what happens when you out here fishing in an area that's abundant with bait. You will get one of them catfish or two trying to run some stuff yep there you go like i figured like i figured there you go no well, we gonna get him up here because he a little dude he ain't nothing special eight pound test can lift a fish up here we go got him in the corner of the mouth that's another reason why they fish out here at the finicky boy when these channel cats come out here they are they get out of dodge and that's always like that all right let's get this channel cat out here just get him away from all the drama. All righty. Uh-uh, here we go. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's little. It's little, but we got another one. There we go. I'm not here. There we go. All right, so now we got that many fish. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five fish. We're still trying to get on them. Um, they're not as abundant as they would be, but it's very understandable because they just now started to come into this uh, urban life area. You know what I'm saying? This is something I do every year, but I wanted to just let it be known, man. Like, hey, don't ever just dismiss urban fishing. This is just, hey, here we go. We got another one right there. We got another bite right there. Come on. Is he going to come back? We had another bite right there. Come back. Come back. Yeah, but what I was saying is just trying to tell people don't dismiss urban fishing, bro. Like, good fishing is literally here in the city, man. Just make sure that wherever you fishing at is safe to do it. Um, and, you know, have a good time. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think we got one. I'm just trying to wait to see if he bite again. 
Just finicky little dudes. That's what it is. Come on. If he not there, I just put the rod back down. I got a very small hook, a size six Aberdeen, and then a size one. The size one is obviously large, and I'm definitely not catching fish on that large one. I'm caught more fish on the smaller one. I have caught them on the bigger hook, but there's still an issue. So with that being said, I don't know. We're gonna just sit out here and just wait and see what happens, man. That's all we can do. All right, we got another one. Oh, what is this? This ain't, no, this is a yellow perch. Huh, this is a yellow perch. Look at him. He a little too small, so we gonna get rid of him. But yeah, look at him. It's a lot of them out here, believe it or not. It's a lot of yellow perch, but we don't want him. We let him go. Nothing wrong with having him. He just too small. I got a nice one in there already, but if it ain't that size or up, then I don't. Ain't no point in me keeping him. I think it's just a little kind of crazy to keep something that dang on small. So what we gonna do? Put another worm on there. Just setting up the right way. You know what it is. Setting up the right way. And all we doing is just waiting to see what fish want to come in. Act strong enough to get this bait so what we're gonna do is cast back out there we're gonna go, we're gonna go straight this time there we go we're gonna do it like that and then we're gonna get this other rod in here probably put a smaller hook on there and see what's up here we go we got another one yes we do and we had a different location too. So we finally made it to that different location and we got one. So we're gonna cast this back out. See what else we can get. Look at that. We own them, yo. We left the urban area to come out here to the to the uh suburbs and get us on some fish. More very much conventional spot, more conventional, pretty much where the um like walleye run is at. Or where they usually come when the walleye are running real tough. Now, there's a few walleye out here running some residentials and stuff like that. But it's, you know, they're not out here real thick, lined up like crazy in the water. So we decided to come out here and get our hands on some white perch. We could throw some lures to see if we can get a white bass. But what I'm going to do is just cast these night crawlers out for a little while. And then maybe throw one lure out there to see exactly what happens. So until then, y'all stay tuned. Let's see what else we can get into. Fish on. Fish on, buddy. Put your butt over here. Think he big and bad. Look at that. Come on, buddy. There we go. He thought he was doing some. I got him quick. He bit that quick. But look how look how it's barely there on his skin. Look at that. He thought he was doing something little guy these not the big ones though these big ones coming out real soon but i mean they still good eaters i promise you that don't get it twisted now we they still good eaters don't let nobody tell you nothing so we just gonna put that worm right back on the way it is we're gonna cast this back out like i said to really get them out here you got to kind of cast far but we're gonna be dealing with a lot of snags too because just the way this is it's just rocks and rocks and rocks and rocks which is i mean it's all a that's the name of the game right here we got another fish on right here got you see there we go y'all that's how we, that's what i'm talking about two in a row that's how we do it we don't do nothing else but catch these fish right there that's all we want look at that oh this looked like a good one right here skipping on top of the rocks feeling kind of thick he bigger than that last one yeah, uh, yeah, just a little bit bigger than the last one, but there you go. Like I said, see, look at that. They out there and they ready to bite. Come on. Ooh, ooh, that's a male. Oh my God, that's a male and he didn't put it all on my face. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, oh God, Lee. All right, y'all, here we go, see? The bucket is getting full. All right, we're gonna cast this same little bitty night crawler out there. That's what we're gonna do. But y'all stay tuned, let's get this cast, let's get this cast back out. It's like that, come on. Oh, he feel good. Come on. 
these little white person they be doing something crazy here we go got another one that's what i'm talking about that little hook getting see i got a i got a size six and then the size one on i might just change both hooks to size ones because that hook is just a little too small i'm gonna change my weight but it's working so there you have it right here another one put down the cooler right there fix that rod put that rod back where it was at all right let's cast this back out we we caught two on that same night crawler so with that being said we might just go ahead and throw it back out depending on how much we got left on there let's 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 dissect this let's see what's going on let's observe this okay so it's kind of hanging off at the top we're gonna grab that top piece and try to hook it again and just cast it like this like a little ball of food there you go let's see what they see if they eat this all right cast all right we just leave it there because there's current so we don't have to do too much we just let it go out there and let the current take it hey looking for more content well please subscribe also like us on facebook and always remember there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing thank you for watching